What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmatch Wrestling Recap. Let's get right into the first Raw after the day one pay-per-view. This was a great show, Matt. What did you think about it? Man, I'm just going to keep turning in my seat, banging into stuff as I just hit my knee. I was super pumped. Um, I wasn't quite sure about thinking with Brock Lesnar, our new WWE champion. But, uh, you know, I think uh, WWE Universe is certainly pumped about that. And that's how they work, especially with Raw opening up with a plethora of booze surrounding Paul Heyman, who is standing in the center of that ring as he brings out his advocate, the new WWE champion, Brock Lesnar, with some cheers and, you know, more so booze. Lesnar standing on steel steps, telling the WWE Universe to acknowledge him, kind of a bite at Roman Reigns, as Lesnar and Paul are back together, as Brock reminds us that Paul Heyman is the reason why he was put in that title match last night at the day one pay-per-view. Oh, man, it's like a married couple. You know what? They go through bumps in the road in their marriage, but, you know, it's so lovely to see him back together. Paul Heyman making jokes saying, you know, the first day he's not a special counsel for Roman Reigns, he gets COVID. So, I mean, I guess you love to say it. It is what it is. We're going to have to see what happens. I'm still kind of confused with him just bouncing right to Paul Heyman, but it's not like he gave Roman Reigns COVID, but whatever, we're going to move forward. RK Bro and the Alpha Academy actually do battle next. A quick match, even with the Alpha Academy actually attacking Randy Orton and Riddle before the bell. RK Bro was in trouble, and I think they kind of knew this, especially after last night's hardcore match. But Otis reversing an RKU into a slam, pinning the Viper. Not just pinning Orton, but pinning the Viper, man. Randy Orton took a loss with Riddle on Raw tonight. Oh, man, I was super surprised to see this. Otis pinned him clean, man. Maybe uh, the Alpha Academy is going to go after those titles and take him off of RK Bro. We'll just have to wait and see. Talking about pinning clean, we have Tamina and Akira Tozawa take on Reginald and Dana Brooke. A little bit mixed match tag team action here with Reginald and Tozawa starting things off, of course, for their respective teams. Reginald avoiding a kick, allowing Akira to actually hit Tamina, rather Reginald, as Tamina is all pissed off, decking Akira Tozawa, allowing Reginald to actually pick up the win for their team. So it, I, I guess we're going to see... Uh, Tamina as a face or whatnot. I don't know, but she's playing that solo card, but I don't mind her uh, doing some mixed match tag team action with Akira Tozawa. Yeah, man, I guess with all these mixed match tag team matches, are we going to have actual mixed match tag team titles like we did back in the day? Highly doubt it, but, uh, you know, that's totally just trying to find something out of a filler. But moving forward, we have Raw Women's Titles on the line. Your Raw Women's Champions, Queen Zelina and Carmella taking on the former Raw Tag Team Champions. Rhea Ripley and Nikki A.S.H. With the titles on the line, it's Alina Knox Ripley off the apron, rolling up Nikki for the win. I didn't see a title change happening tonight, and that's what didn't happen. Queens, Alina, and Carvalho, still your Raw Women's Champions. Yeah, I mean, they got to break up this team of Nikki A.S.H. and Rhea Ripley. They both got to go their separate ways. I, th- I feel like Rhea Ripley is just dying in this tag team, and she really has got to get that singles opportunity again. I agree. I agree. But nonetheless, moving forward, we have the Street Profits taking on Aziz and Apollo Crews. Aziz was the savior in this match, saving Apollo from a hard pinfall. I think it was Angelo Dawkins. But with teamwork by the Street Profits, Aziz is put away in the corner with Ford making a tag, hitting a splash onto Apollo Crews for the win. Hard L for Aziz and Crews. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to think about these guys. They never really took off. You know, they never really got the shine. So, uh, you know, good win for the Street Profits. We got to talk about their match at day one, man. That was absolutely crazy. Stole the show. I'm so surprised they were able to put on a heck of a match. But nonetheless, moving forward, we have Damian Priest and Dolph Ziggler go head-to-head again with that United States Championship on the line. Priest, of course, defending. Of course, with Rude ringside. It was fishy with Rude pulling all the stops, trying to actually distract Damian Priest. Ziggler hits a zigzag for a near fall, but Priest kicks out, gaining momentum, getting a reckoning for the win. So I think we're still going to see that Damian Priest saga continue as your United States Champion. Oh, man, I love to see it. I got to say, week after week, Dolph Ziggler just puts over talent week after week. And, you know, big props to him for getting these younger superstars some shine on Monday Night Raw. For sure. Um, But speaking of, you know, young superstars, Omas, who is, you know, still kind of new to the um, WWE Raw scene. So Omas and AJ go head to head, you know, after the last few weeks of their bickering and AJ officially being broken off with Omas as the tag team they were as Omas walked out, you know, out in the back just a few Raws ago. But Omas hitting a choke slam for the match onto AJ, who actually just kind of keeps toying with Omas, trying to escape him in between his legs. So you got big man, small man. AJ, of course, going to be a little quicker, but Omas just catches him in midair with a choke slam. So I didn't, you know, I expected to see that. 
Oh, man, I think this is AJ Styles' final swan song on Monday Night Raw. We got to remember he's getting up there in age, and, you know, he's put in a great effort for WWE coming in later in his career, and he's just trying to put over those younger superstars. I agree with that, but, you know, let's move forward. You know, so I think what they had for the main event was kind of something that everybody wanted to see again, but it was Bobby Lashley versus Big E versus Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins. So I don't know if there is, you know, winner gets um, a shot at the championship, but I don't think that's going to happen for now. I don't know if Bobby Lashley is going to face Brock Lesnar at uh, Royal Rumble, and then they're going to save Roman Reigns versus um, Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. But I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. But Bobby Lashley versus Kevin Owens versus Big E versus Seth Rollins, with all that eventually teaming up with one another, uh, another as expected, Bobby Lashley, he was the victor over all three other men. But this is how it happened. Lashley with the most momentum, spearing Kevin Owens, then spearing Big E, and then Seth Rollins, one after another. Bobby Lashley sure looks superior now after beating all three men, but clean, though, clean. And I think we're going to see Bobby Lashley take on Brock Lesnar, possibly pre-WrestleMania, mostly Royal Rumble. I will say that's going to happen. Oh, I agree with you. I must say, this was a pretty good Monday Night Raw. We had an Alexa Bliss tease coming back to Monday Night Raw next week. Yep. And we had The Miz and Maurice putting out a challenge to Beth Phoenix and Edge. So I think we're going to see that match. This was a great Monday Night Raw. First one after day one. And I think it was a great building show. Always like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And we will keep you posted. We're actually going to Friday Night SmackDown this week live. So maybe we'll have a video for you. But we'll definitely have a recap either way. Thanks for watching us, guys. Peace out. Have a good night.